If people think BIM is just 3D modelling, that, that's a very naive way of looking at it really because it can translate into far more opportunities than that. It can give you an ability to look at a building from every different angle. It's actually something that's functional and that can deliver to you uh, and it can show you how things fit together. We've got a significant workshop downstairs so that we could house uh, rolling stock to do training. We were really able to use the BIM model to uh, kind of test out how that was going to work so that we could make some decisions on that. There's some great examples in our IT hall where you could see that the architecturals were going to clash with the steels. Um, so we've had, we can see that rainwater pipes, for instance, have been moved across by about a metre to stop that clash occurring. By seeing it in the model, before you've done the cuts in the roof or you've cut your pipes, it's, it's such a time saving. You only need to design it once. You don't need to then redesign. It's a very powerful tool. There, there are people that say that BIM is a long-winded approach to construction. You walk around with your mobile phone and pull up the model and have a look at the building while you're walking around. What's more time saving than that? You don't have to walk back to a site office and pull out a 2D drawing and investigate it. You can actually look on your phone and say, hey, that's the answer. We had a very late design change. Now, if we'd have been doing things the way we had been doing things with pieces of paper, I expect that those design changes might well have delayed the project by 12 weeks. In reality, we only ended up with a four week delay on that particular work package. Now, obviously the supply chain is a key to this. Um, but there's a real demonstration. Without the model, I would not have been able to deliver on time. When we started with BIM, we very much kind of just saw it as, I guess, a, a a model that we could walk around, but now we're here and we are using our buildings. It's very much about kind of our asset monitoring, what maintenance programmes do we think we're going to need to put in place, and the BIM model's really helping inform that. We have had to put people on uh, courses so that they can utilise BIM to full extent, and we have provided the time commitment for them to go and do that, because we see the benefit to us as an organisation. If you can send your maintenance engineers to a fault and they know exactly what it is they've got to do and where it is and what spares they need, you're going to cut out an awful lot of future costs. One of the most common things that's going to happen is light bulbs are going to blow. You can get all of that information about the, the maintenance that you, you require and the, and the parts that you need from your BIM model. This is about the full life cost of the building, it pays for itself. It was probably one of the best construction teams that I've worked with and that pretty much was a result of using BIM and, and the fact that we had to collaborate throughout the project. I'm proud of the design of this building and I think for an educational building that's about making people look at the aspiration and the ambition that they have for themselves and for others and I really think that this building embodies that and gets a positive reaction from anybody who comes in. BIM is going to be a time saver, a collaboration tool and it can, it can really map your costs very well because of the data outputs that you get.